Well, it's looking like rain for a possibility. I would really love to see it rain. I've been watering this yard every day. And my tomato and other plants. Kathy does a good job with all these items on the porch. Cherry tomato bed with onions growing, hopefully. Lots of cherry tomatoes on this first plant, but it looks really dried up. Not showing much life, but got nice little cherry tomatoes on it. One little cantaloupe vine that needs to be transplanted. And then this is the one that's been producing some edible cherry tomatoes. A couple of little ripies right in there are getting ripe. I won't pick those until they turn red. I keep forgetting the names of these things. But there's some cantaloupe that's growing in there too. I'm hoping it'll overflow and start filling up this side of the fence. Well, this is supposed to be my crown picking beefsteak tomato. It's grown tall, but it hasn't produced the first bud yet that I know of. It does have a little cantaloupe's uh, vines down at the bottom. Could be choking them out. This was my heirloom tomato bed with homestead tomatoes. I haven't picked any yet, but there's some nice little plants growing in here. Lots of flowers up here on the top. So made it in a little four pack right there. A couple down in there. A little tusen. And as you see. The tomato plant got lots of potential even for this year. So this is from the deep corner of my yard back to the porch. From the tomato bed we now go down to my overflowing cantaloupe vines transplanted into this little veggie bed and is now outgrowing its edges which is fine with me and over here in between the pompous grass is another one that's starting to show a little life and then over here is another little cantaloupe now this one is showing the most life in that there's a nice little yellow flower One more cantaloupe vine here in the middle with a flower or two. And there's my watermelon vines that I'm hoping will start showing a little bit more growth. And then over here is another little watermelon plant. Going toward my worm bed is watermelon corner. This is one plant that's overflowing the little flower bed. And then another one in the middle. Lots of leaves. 
And then here's my third watermelon bed, which doesn't get enough sun, apparently. But as we look down the fence, you can see, trying to keep the pompous grass clean down. Got some cantaloupe ready to break open. Everything's within view of the treehouse and the fire pit and the cantaloupe bed. Well, this is a cantaloupe bed that does have two pineapples in it. But everything else, I believe, are, pine, are uh, cantaloupe vines. Well, pineapple is showing a lot of new life in the middle. Some little critters get in here and dig holes. Well, this was a last ditch effort to get some raspberries growing. The two five gallon buckets have raspberry plants which has not once shown any life and so I made a little this is a good sun area I made a little um, veggie bed here that's got watermelons in the back that doesn't seem to want to grow yellow squash on the right and cucumbers on the left and then my yard, which is starting to really look nice for the first time ever. And there's the Sunrise Express. This is going down my sidewalk. Back toward the side of the house. These geese fly in our yard for some reason, but they never fly out. I don't know what they're looking at. Well, that's the tour of the home. Let's see if I can't put it together.